जय हिंद वंदे मातरम दिस इज कुणाल मेहता फ्रॉम मेक मी साइंटिफिक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू एन एक्सपेरिमेंट रिलेटेड टू आईसीएसई स्टैंडर्ड एंड बोर्ड प्रैक्टिकल सो वी विल बी गिवन एन ग्लास लैब वी विल इंसिडेंट रे एट एन एंगल ऑफ 45 डिग्रीज एंड देन द रे विल इमर्ज आउट ऑफ द ग्लास लैब वी आर गोइंग टू मेजर द लैटरल शिफ्ट एंड वी विल इन्वेस्टिगेट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट्स एंड द लैटरल शिफ्ट ओके you can also find the refractive index of the glass lab using this experiment so let's not waste any time and go for the experiment fix two softboard pins on diametrically opposite sides of a4 size paper on the wooden board place the glass lab at the center of the a4 size paper hold it tightly and draw its outline using the pencil Name the surfaces as A B C D. At the midpoint of surface A B, mark a point. Put the protractor as shown such that this line matches with A B and this point matches with this point. Draw two points, one over 90 degree and one over 45 degree. So the angle between them is 45 degree, which is our angle of incidence. Draw a perpendicular line which is normal using a scale. Join these two points. This becomes your incident ray. Fix two softboard pins on incident ray at a distance more than 5 cm. Place the glass lab back at its mark place. You need to get down from where you are sitting. your eyes must be parallel to that of the level of the glass lab then by closing one of your eyes you have to observe these two pins from this side of the glass lab this step will decide how accurate your experiment is going to be you can very well see that the images of these two blue pins are visible from this side as well Now place another two red softboard pins such that the images of the blue pins and these two red pins all appear to be in a straight line. Remove the softboard pins and mark the pricked locations. Join these two points with surface CD. This becomes your emergent ray. Join these two points using a scale this becomes your refracted ray Extend the incident ray using the scale Draw the normal perpendicular to the surface Angle of incidence is 45 degrees This is angle of refraction This is angle of emergence. This is angle of incidence for surface CD which is equal to R. The perpendicular distance between the emergent ray and the extended incident ray is lateral displacement. Let's measure the lateral displacement using the scale. It turns out to be 1.6 cm. Let's measure the angle of refraction. Make sure that this point matches with this point and this line matches with the normal. The angle of emergence must be equal to the angle of incidence. However, error of about 2 degrees is always allowed in the experiment. Refractive index of the glass lab can also be found out by using Snell's law. Substitute these given values into the equation and get the answer. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching the video.